going on everybody hope y'all are having a good one uh, we're gonna try to run through the beginning rant here pretty quick uh, both trucks are plugged in got direct power servos so don't want to kill my batteries just sitting here yapping um just got these things kind of somewhat cleaned up put back together i uh, haven't really run either of them for a good while now especially uh the gapra i did run the capra a couple times down at beat the creek but i had the uh two two cut and shut ruptures that i made on there and having some overheating issues with it so it's back on one nines until right after axial fest uh that thing's gonna get tore down and rebuilt we've got a few things to figure out but that will be on my uh, modified ruptures that i made so anyways we're going to uh take both of the four wheel steer rigs out and uh give them a good shakedown run make sure everything's good to go axial fest is coming up quick next week so we'll get both of the both of the big boys out run them around play a little follow the leader fingers crossed nothing breaks we're good to go Getting cocky trying to climb up the face of that big rock there. If I need, wanted to do that, I need to come a little further to the left. It'll be nice to finally get this thing tore apart and build it back up using something other than mostly stock parts. Been waiting on that day for quite a while. Cameron probably gonna be a little bit shaky here. Um, it's been a little while since I've run four wheel steer while holding a camera at the same time. Uh, we'll try to get through it as smoothly as possible. In some sections I'll be able to set the camera down, but longer runs like this it's just easier to hold on to it instead of resetting multiple times 
So the last time I brought this thing out was, uh, I think the day after Mother's Day when I uh, built a C2 rig for my mom. Uh, brought it out so she could drive it for the first time and I went ahead and brought this thing out I didn't do a whole lot of running with it but apparently uh, somewhere on the way back to the house I ended up losing the rear drive shaft and I didn't even realize it um, about a week or so ago I walked out here to the pit with another rig and on my way back seen a drive shaft laying in the driveway and saw that it was the cobbled together shaft out of this thing I didn't have a single clue that it ended up falling out so this morning I went ahead and cut down uh, one of the metal uh, cut to length drive shafts off of Amazon and put it on here so part of the reason why I'm doing a little shakedown run make sure that drive shaft good not going to bind up or fall out my eye on this critter hole up here getting pretty close to uh, being face to face with it oh. Man, that is a dangerous spot right where the passenger rear tire is at the moment that'll uh, get pinched real quick flip you right over backwards and my driver's side's down in a hole as well that's what I get for not paying attention crab walk it over try to hit it from a different angle not where I want to be but should be able to make it work perks of four wheel steer up and over like it was nothing. rear driver's side tire pinched in between a rock and a log over there and almost ended badly I 
hung up on the diff there. fell off. Definitely got to take uh different lines with these rigs even though they're similar wheelbase got different tires different weight and all that good stuff try to keep that camera level still doesn't do any justice to these lines but try to do my best to keep it all on the level butter okay literally face to face like eye level with the crater holes that are maybe five or six foot away from me at the moment so i'm just gonna hold on to the camera for the top of hard line here just because where i would normally put the camera down i don't particularly want to be hanging out there Find my spot here. Oh, got a little catty wampus there. There we go. Hold oh, on. Mosquitoes. Oh, hey, careful now. As long as that groundhog don't come out and start chewing on my tires, it'll be good. back down not too shabby alright I'm gonna send the gapper up here hopefully
Man, I love this thing. Freaking animal on the rocks. Still surprises me how good it does, even with this big body on it. I thought for sure when I put this Corvair lid on here, it was going to cut down on performance. But it did not. Even with the extra weight of the aluminum fender flares it's a freaking rock star alright it's been a good long while since I've tried this one but we'll give uh, Mission Impossible a shot here. Everything looks like it's in at least relatively the same spot as it was the last time I was up here, but the cows tend to move things around quite a bit. It's like something's dug a little bit out of the middle shelf there. We'll see how it goes. Delicate balance. Try to get up here. I honestly don't know if I've even tried this climb since I switched the bodies out. It's been a while.
not how I wanted to get up that section, but if it makes that corner there, I'm good with it. Alright. Now we've got a nasty hole to try to get around right in front of the rear axle here. Normally I'd have my back tire clear up. Well, you can't see it from down at that angle. I don't think I'm going to be able to get it up there. Try to shimmy back over. Maybe ride the crack up. If it doesn't pinch and pull me over. Ooh. put my cigarette out okay so I've got two options I can either try to swing the back end clear around to the left and take my chances there or try to wiggle my way around to the right back to the original line that I wanted to be on Either way is a bit of a gamble at this point. Probably going to have to do a little bit of reverse once I get over here. had it. Grab it. Grab it. Ah. Ah. Dude, it is right there. Get it. You're on it. That there is a tricky line. Every bit is tricky coming back down. Even though coming back down usually happens a lot quicker. Right here we'll get a big slide tires only have so much grip against fighting gravity there it is stable like it
there is why Gapper is a freaking monster. Alright. And we'll see if little brother can make it. Sucking this thing to the right immediately. This thing can hang up on the left side, maybe. Yeah, there's that part. Oh, don't get carried away now. Like that. Covering that one. Shadow is playing tricks on my eyes here. Slow down, slow down. Ah, you were right there, buddy. One of the parts, I made it up to that section. I 
actually stayed on the correct line. So should hopefully, if it'll grab, be able to hook this rock here. Like. Like something's missing over here. I feel like I had another rock in this hole underneath of the rear passenger tire. Hmm. It is not wanting to grab like it should. Detailer. Calm down. Damn. be a good test to see if it's overheating on one nines or if it was just the two twos that was doing it. Two thousand years later. Okay. Sure. That was different. But I'll take it. Get this thing back down here and do a temperature check. Oh, how bad is the flare of the sun? Not too bad, I guess. In the time it took me to climb that, the shadows up here have moved and you know, we got some direct sunlight on the camera lens. Well, that's good. Well, it was not pretty and it was not how I planned, but it made it. Whew. And she is definitely hot. This here is another one of those climbs that nine times out of ten, the gap right here just makes every other rig I have look stupid in comparison. This particular pole here does not look like much, but boy, you have got to have it all of your ducks in a row to pull this one.
bit more wheel speed than what I wanted, but it's not like I was full rip. Definitely a lot more challenging of a line than what it looks like. Well, I think that'll do it for today. Uh, seems like the Gapra is in great shape. Um, that thing's just a beast. So I'm good with that. The Capra, however, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm in a pickle here. I can't change anything until this Trucks with Cups tournament's over with if i do change something then i've got to change it back and i just don't like having to tear into these buggies any more than i have to they're just kind of a pain to work on so i don't know i can either leave it alone and only take it on short runs over at axial fest or i guess chalk up that tournament and throw a different transmission in here i've got everything i need to put a three gear in this thing that'll definitely help out with the uh over gearing slash overheating situation that i've got i was really hoping that it was just a big weighted two twos that was uh, causing this thing to overheat when I got into a lot of real slow technical crawling. Um, if you're just running trails and you know blasting around, everything's fine. But as soon as you start slow crawling a bunch and getting it bound up and really working the motor at low RPMs, uh, this thing just starts getting really hot really fast. So, I'm not sure what I'm going to do there. Um, it, at some point, something's got to change here because this thing, I'm going to end up burning up that fusion if I keep running it like this. So, I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll see what happens with that thing. Uh, it's kind of why i dove head first into that bronco project because i needed another reliable trail truck i've been worried about the heat on this thing for a little while so yeah don't know basically shelf this thing until the tournament's over with or forfeit i guess and change this thing up to what it needs to be and what i've wanted to do for the shit gotta be six eight months now well uh, eight ten months maybe i don't know it seems like it's been an entire year but i don't know i can go back and forth on that situation all day but I'm just rambling at this point out of frustration. Regardless, four wheel steer rigs minus the heating situation on the Capra are good to go. Um, the next thing that I need to tackle is the race. Um, I busted a drive shaft on it down at Beat the Creek so that thing's still covered in mud and not properly working at the moment so i need to get that one fixed so i'll probably 
cut up another one of those uh, cut the length drive shafts get that thing fixed and then uh, I'll give it a blast around the pit or through the creek and uh, make sure that one's good to go uh, that might be it got the these two the Wraith on AR-60s, um, the Bronco, which I've still got a few scale details and minor tuning to do to that thing. Uh, hopefully, I got my deliveries today and I can get back on that. And I think the only other Axial that I've got is uh, the Wrecker. And that thing should still be good, but I'll get it back out and make sure. So that's what, two, four, I got five or six rigs to take with me over there. So we're getting down to the end here. Anyways, I uh, hope y'all enjoyed. Hope you have a good one. And we'll catch you in the next update. Later.